What's going on, Groovies? It's your guy, Ostix, back with another daily upload for you guys. This is the first episode you guys are watching. You definitely want to go see the first episode first so you know the backstory and you don't want any spoilers. So go ahead, press this little card somewhere here on the screen. This is going to take you to the first episode of this series. So go ahead, do that, watch that episode first, and then come watch this one. But let's go ahead and get started. Listen, you got to help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. What? So we're the one getting arrested? Look. I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know? Uh, in complicated matters, uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. So that's our time traveling device. But we don't want to tell him. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Can we use it? <laughs> Whoa. Where did the lights go? Uh. Okay, so we're going to walk to the hallway. It looks like a bright light could that be the future no it's just the backstage <laughs> man Ugh. the sign on the door says evidence room it's locked so we need to find a key walks to stairs to base I'm really confused this doesn't look like a police station at all where did they take me Maybe this is the end of the world. Uh, this looks like it, it could be the end of the world. We're going to go up the stairs. Abraham Lincoln. There's something. Walk to tie door. The door is tied in place. It's a rope. The guy's downstairs is hanging from. It's trying to. What? Let's go this way. Walk to the door. The handle is broken off. So we need a handle, we need to find something to cut the rope, and we need to find a key. There's so much. Can we check all these lockers? Walk to picture. We could move it. Maybe we can find far something out. behind it. There's a safe behind this. Far out. And now we need to find another. We need to find a combination, a key, uh, some, a scissors to cut that, and a door handle. That's just so much on our plate right now. Go down the stairs. Go down the stairs again. I only counted three steps. The first two are fine. The third seemed to be somewhere in the basement. What in the world do we do? Interrogation room. Is there anything that we missed we could have picked up from? I don't think so. 
Nothing I can click on. On the count of three steps. Okay. Um. Oh, office door. We didn't see this. It's locked, of course. Uh, walking to hanging mail. <gasps> wow. Hammer. Can we use the hammer on these doors? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I just... This might be totally far out, but I, what time travel guy was right? What if this weird pocket in my pocket actually took me up there? The future. I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanations could there be? You're not dreaming, that's for damn sure. Head hurts too much. So that guy, he was telling the truth. Is there anything? There's a key attached to his belt. I should gr just grab it and hope it gets me out somehow. There we go. So there's a key. So we know some doors that are going to have a key. We know this one has a key. And if there's this one, it doesn't fit. So we need to go upstairs. This one's tied. Oh, wait, downstairs. It's the evidence room. Here we go. Okay, evidence room. Whoa. We have a corpse for sure. There's a katana. Oh god, I must be losing it. This police ID. Is that officer from the interrogation? Bras? Kizzy? This is seriously creeping me out. There's a gun up there. Unlicensed small arms, anti war propaganda, unregistered sexual aids, dentals. The rest of the boxes have case numbers. Rusty old padlock. We can probably use this. Uh, oh, come on. I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. I may be out of shape, but this is stupid. Yeah. Okay, so we have an ID card. I don't see anything else we can pick up. Unless we can click on him again. Uh, it's Officer Fra Francis Burkowski. Every fiber of me... A me being is telling me not to touch it. Even from a skeleton, you can tell he was probably able to snap you like a twig. You'd think skeletons were scary enough, but that huge jaw just takes it up a notch. Huh! Alright, so we use ID on the office room, which makes sense. It could have been Kowski's office. Perfect. Now we have a note. That's go That's what we're going to use for upstairs. There are some numbers scribbled on this. It's too short to be a phone number to license. Wait, maybe a door code or something? Wait, what are these? Walk to country map? And that's a map of the country. It riddled with pins, circles, and notes. That looks like they were written in a hurry. Oh, and here's where I live. Right under the A word. Quarantine. It's a map of the country. Okay. Walk to the desk. One of the drawers is unlocked. It's their bottle of gun oil in there. What? We're going to pick that up. Can we search? There's nothing unusual about it. Okay. Walk to photographs. There's Herman Bell, wanted for murder, possible connection to San Francisco 8. Anthony Bottom, wanted for two counts of murder, possible connection to Black Libertarian Army in San Francisco 8. Freddie Hilton, wanted for one count of murder on San Francisco officer. Russell Shouts, wanted for questioning. Erno Soto, suspect in five counts of murder. Suspect zero. Hey, that's my picture. Looks like it was taken by the camera when I was talking to that officer just now. What's going on here? Suspected possession of experimental military-grade weaponry. Case evidence seized by Homeland Security Task Force. I don't understand. I didn't do anything. I really know what just happened. Wow. Which is true. Uh, our guy Joe doesn't really know too much. He was just handed this device and just expected to know what to do with it. So we're going to open up the safe. 
three, nine, five, six. It worked anyway. Oh, ah, there's nothing in here. Nothing but this dumb paperclip. What a bummer, man. Can we use this paperclip though to act as a door handle? I might be able to open something like a padlock, but I have no clue what to do here. So I don't know who would put a paperclip in a safe, but. I'm going to go downstairs. Is there anything in his evidence room that we can use? Maybe a rusty padlock? Oh, that we could push in. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Hmm. It's so stuck with rust, I'm only bending the clip. I need to lube it up. With the gun oil, the, the lock tumbler really seems a little less stiff now. Now we can use the paper clip. A. Hey. Katana. Let's get it. Is there anything else we can pick up? No. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel excited right now. Makes sense. Maybe that'll give us some stairs. The rope's been cut. Bookcase. Lots of dusty files and reports. All of these look really uninteresting. Lots of dusty files and reports. There's a duty roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were home sick that day. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. Whoa, I should be a little careful. I almost cut myself there. Okay, before we go out, I think we need to try and open up that door. And we're gonna go downstairs. I wonder what happened to that hanging, the hanging guy. Never mind. that looks like Walking to the tree branch. <laughs> that's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. This branch looks sturdy enough in theory. I'm not sure I'll be able to make it. I need something to hold on besides prayer, I mean. Okay, so we definitely need to open up that one door. Dead police officer, nothing. Oh wait, we can grab the rope now. Maybe we can go downstairs. This should come in handy. Upstairs, it's way too dark in there. I have no idea I'll be landing if I go down. Of course. Of course. Or we can use the rope to have something to hang on with. Use rope with the branch. There we go. The most important thing I've no not I tied in my life. There we go. We figured it out. My goodness. Chapter three, the machine. Alrighty, this seems like a good place to start. I appreciate if you made it this far, and I will definitely be doing more episodes like this. Definitely smash that like button and comment down below your favorite part or other series you'd like me to do, and subscribe for more daily uploads just like these. So, my name is Groovy Ostix. I hope to see you all in the next episode. Stay groovy. Alrighty, I'm going to end this episode here. I enjoyed this episode very much, and I can't wait to continue this series. But if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, smash down that like button, and comment down below if your favorite part, and subscribe for more daily uploads just like these. I'm down for any suggestions if you guys want to give me those as well. 
And with all that being said, my name is Groovy Osix. I hope to see you all in the next episode. Stay groovy. Do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. So that's our time traveling device.